What's up guys? Today we're talking about Frame Pro Trim Coat. Now, this is a semi-permanent one to two year trim coating that is absolutely spectacular. I've been working on this for quite some time. Now, it's also in the Pro line, which of course is white. We have Gelee Pro, we have Reflex Pro, and of course Top Coat. Now, that's all a derivative of Reflex. That was my big sort of aha moment when we put a coating on the paint. It was fantastic, but when we went to the wheels, we wanted to make it a little bit stronger. So we had to tweak the formula. When you go to trim, which of course is flexible, we had to tweak it again. So we did that and of course put it in towelettes, which is super easy to put on and off. It lasts quite a long time. The difference between before and after is huge. Uh, it, it is hydrophobic. It just looks spectacular. The reason we called it frame is we shot a video a long time ago with uh, Kevin. We came up with this idea of framing a car, meaning the edges around underneath and here. And of course, trim is the quintessence of frame. So that, that means so much to me that we called it frame. So uh, big kudos to Kevin for that as well. Behind me right now, of course, we have the R8. I spent, mm, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, nine and a half months ago, just putting one or two layers on the arrow. I just wanted to see how well it would last. It's spectacular. I'll show you a picture of that. And plus, um, we couldn't come up with a better example than this Jeep right here. Of course, you have black paint, and this is supposed to be black, but of course, it's gray. It's very, very common. So we're going to go over the step-by-step -step process of how to make this come back to life. Uh, there's a few things you need to uh, sort of keep in mind and, and go one, two, three, four in terms of steps, but it's pretty easy. You put it on, it's going to look spectacular. So uh, let me show you the step-by-step -step process here. Step one, of course, is to wash the area with dish soap or brute wheel soap. If needed, use Titan 12 degreaser and a scrub brush to agitate the surface if there's any leftover wax residue or previous stains. Afterwards, rinse and then dry with a towel and compressed air if you have it. If you don't have it, just give it enough time to dry 100%. Any moisture present won't allow it to stick and cure. Next, put on your protective gear, gloves, glasses, masks, etc., as you would for any coating. Tear open the top of the packet and then pull out the white towelette. Apply the product in overlapping motions with the understanding that the first few wipes will lay down more product because the towelette is full, so be as smooth as possible. Long strokes here can be really helpful to lay down the product. Now, once the product is actually leveled, then just move on. You don't want to keep going back and over and over and over it again. Flip the towel if you need more product later on. If frame should hit the actual paint while you're applying it to the trim, it's really easy. Just take a microfiber towel, wipe it off within the first few minutes, and you're good to go. All right, guys, I'm behind the camera now. Let's do the 50-50. Oh, wow. You can see right off the bat. That is a huge difference again, very much before. After, now the idea here is that after a couple of minutes, it's going to flatten out and it's going to look really good. At the same time, it's not gonna be crazy shiny. Same concept, of course, as the wheels. I don't like my wheels really, really shiny. I just want them to look deep and rich. That's what we did here, again, before and after. Now, this is gonna take on a car like this with look at the side, look at my hand versus how much real estate is here. It's so much. So you may need two bags of three each to do this, probably four or five bags in total to do this entire car. But normal cars, just maybe like that little spot down there, you'll need one pouch, which has three bags in it. Now, over here, I did that one, this entire car, I think with one, maybe two pouches, the front and the back. So uh, that gives you a little bit of perspective of how many you might need. But overall, you can see once it flattens out, give it a few minutes, uh, it'll start to just kind of settle and dry. And it looks absolutely spectacular. The before and after is huge. I'm excited to do the rest of this car. Okay. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me, Larry at AmmoNYC.com. As always, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in a bit.